What is a curse? Curse. Curse. curse? Biblical curse? It's defined as a solemn utterance intended to invoke a supernatural power. Cult practices. A string of occult deviants or just coincidental bad luck. One prestigious family certainly seems to have fallen afoul of one. Or have they? Genoa, 1160. Grimaldo, the progenitor of the Grimaldi clan, lays in wait. His target? A Flemish battleship crawling over the known horizon. Little is known about this mysterious man. His height, build, and any description of him have all been lost to the passage of time, seemingly transcending the lines between man and mystery. We simply know he existed. One thing is for certain, however, that without Grimaldo, the Grimaldi clan would have faded into sure insignificance. The son of Otto Franco, a prominent Genoese consul, his maritime hunting grounds danced over the seas surrounding Europe. The North, Black, and Mediterranean were where Grimaldo fought gallantly, bested by none, gradually bringing prominence to the family name. As the most imposing oak grows from the most minuscule of acorn, for four generations, the passing of power in the Grimaldi house steadily grew, passing from father to son as tradition dictated. But everything changed with the arrival of the fifth generation. In 1270, nearly a century after Grimaldo's demise, the Grimaldi family was forcibly exiled from Genoa, seeking refuge in Nice, a French town straddling the modern border between France and Monaco. With their power and influence rapidly waning from its known peak, the Grimaldis took decisive action. Their right to rule was God-given. Legend has it that on the 8th of January, 1297, Grimaldo's descendant Francois, accompanied by his stepson Ranier, approached the Rock of Monaco. Perched upon it, proudly sitting there, was the Genoese-controlled stronghold, the Castle of Monaco. Francois, dressed as a monk, neared the gates. Mere meters behind his stepfather, Ranier rallied his men and stormed the gates as soon as they opened. Following a bloody and hard-fought battle, they seized control of the castle, now known as the Prince's Palace of Monaco. This absolutely audacious act marked the birth of a sovereign state commemorated in the Monegasque coat of arms. The Grimaldi family's efforts had propelled Monaco towards independence, but unfortunately, Ranier's next actions were on the verge of leading it to its downfall. Ranier I, the inaugural ruler of Monaco, was an unassuming figure. With average looks and an ordinary build, he could pass as one of the common folk with ease. His true brilliance, however, only revealed when he spoke. His privileged upbringing allowed him an intellect which rivaled even the greats of that era. Intellect, which handily translated into battle acumen, making him a true force to be reckoned with. One of the most decorated naval commanders in the French Navy, if Ranier led, he could be sure of victory. One of his most remarkable triumphs was the Battle of Zirixi in 1304, a battle where defeat seemed inevitable on paper. Facing formidable enemies from the Dutch, Flemish, and English forces, Ranier's opponents possessed superior strength and resources. Notably, the Dutch and Flemish naval battalions were amongst the most advanced of their time. Yet, against all odds, he emerged victorious. Winning the battle and now adorned with the title of Admiral of France, nothing could stop Ranier I. However, through their drunken and ill-guided revelry, Ranier and his men had managed to abduct a youthful Flemish damsel. He debased the woman, treating her body as if she was a side of pork, tossed aside to the dogs once she had served her purpose. Little did they know, this act of utter cruelty would have dire consequences. The maiden's fury surged, burning with an unstoppable force, consuming everything in its path. Her once enchanting beauty was no more. She had become a witch, a formidable one at that. A curse she uttered and a curse she placed so powerful, it remains with the family to this day. Simple, yet devastating. Never will a Grimaldi find true happiness in marriage. Ranier's first marriage crumbled, and his second resulted in them being left childless. The curse had truly taken a hold. There has been no doubt that since Ranier the first, those in the Grimaldi family have been unlucky in both love and life. From the scandalous affair between Prince Louis I's wife, Catherine, with King Louis of France, 
to grandmother of current ruler, Princess Charlotte's ill-fated arranged marriage with Count Pierre, who later revealed his true sexual orientation. His disgrace, mother of current ruler, Albert II, suffered a stroke while striving and tragically passed the next day. Albert's oldest sister, Princess Caroline, married and divorced three times, with her second husband passing in a boating accident. And let us not forget about Albert's other sister, Princess Stephanie, who went through the turmoil of four divorces, one of which she ran away to the circus with. As if that wasn't enough, Albert himself has his own not-so-secret love children, Jasmine and Alexandre. His curse even extends to Albert's current marriage with Princess Charlene, where rumours have circulated that Charlene refused to go ahead with the wedding, even on the day of. You might have heard of this before, a curse or just a series of unfortunate events. Even though that you're not a royal or a noble, you might have felt like you were cursed after experiencing a string of failed relationships. That the world be grey and barren, devoid of any love or life. I'm here to remind you that it's not. The world is full of colour, should you choose to see it. Whilst the ending to this story might not have been a happy one, one potentially even worse is the story of Getty III, grandson of one of the richest men in American and world history. He was kidnapped, held for ransom, and why his grandfather refused to pay? Well, click on the video and find out. Click subscribe for more, and until next time. Side note, following a rather typical noble naming antic, Pierre's full name was rather incredible. Count Pierre Marie Javier Raphael Anton Melcoyer de Polignac. It's uh it's rather a mouthful.